Hello, I'm Electronical Maniac, and I'm going to teach you how to build a simple ant weight robot. Now, it sounds simple, but before we begin this, I want to let all of you know that these robots are not cheap. If you wanted to build the regular middleweight to heavyweight robot, it may cost you thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars right off the bat. Only to see a robot get destroyed by some awesome mighty robot in the future. So I suppose you want to start cheap because the less you spend, well, the more you spend, the harder you fall when your robot does eventually get destroyed. So building a regular middleweight to weight, ro uh, middleweight to heavyweight robot will probably cost you around maybe a thousand to five thousand dollars, maybe even up to ten thousand dollars. A lightweight robot, maybe up to twenty-five kilograms. 50 pounds around there it may only cost you up to about one thousand to two thousand dollars still expensive now an uh, um a featherweight may cost you up to a thousand dollars but an ant weight may only cost you up to about seven hundred and fifty dollars now i made a list of everything i'm gonna need which includes soldering kits and everything if you don't already have those and that right now is costing me a grand total of $545.86 give or take taxes. Now, here are the parts you're going to need for sure. Now, you, you can use a chassis, which I'll put up to show you. Uh, you can use an ultralight ant chassis. That would cost you $25. With the lid on top of it would cost you $5. And a fastener set which would be some bolts for the chassis would cost you three dollars so the entire chassis itself would cost you thirty three dollars right there now you're gonna need um of course a speed controller this best the speed controller that you would use for this robot as a beginner would be a saber two dual five a motor driver for remote control that would cost you fifty nine dollars and ninety nine cents now, you would need a set of four ultralight wheels for Sanyo geared motors. Just the wheels would cost you $24. Knobby thread if you want smooth threaded wheels, same price, $24. Knobby threaded for more traction, $24. A Spectrum DX6i 6 channel 2.4 gigahertz radio um, system mode 2 will cost you $136.99. Now, you could probably uh, use this for, you can probably make this robot with a good four channel radio. May only cost you up to $100, may cost you less, $60, you know. Inertia Labs, they sell you really low end ones, so if, you, if you're if really thinking cheap, that's the place to go for a lot of these. Uh, if, you, if you have the money to spend, which of course I do because I'm teaching, if you have the money to spend, you can go to, um, RobotMarketplace.com and they'll give you all the choices from the cheap ones to the expensive ones. A really great place to go to. You're going to need a 7.4 megahertz, 800 megahertz, 8 to 8C lipoly pack. So only call this a battery pack, only cost you $14. A Selectra 1 to 2 cell lipoly battery charger. That'll cost you $24.99. Now that's the charger. To plug the charger into an outlet, you need uh, an, um, a power supply that you would plug right into a DC outlet, a common DC outlet you would have in the United States. Okay, That's an Astroflight 12.5A power supply. That'll cost you 70 bucks right off the bat, 69.99, 70 bucks. That'll cost you right there, a good 70 bucks. So, so far, things that'll cost you a lot are the speed controller, the Sabre 2 Dual 5A motor driver for RC. The Spectrum DX6i radio system. That's the transmitter. And um, the Astro Flight power supply. Now, before I go on any further, I want to mention now, I'm going to look up on my computer right now, the um, cost for the Spectrum DX6i. Now, it's better to use a BR6000 um, receiver. Now, let me see if that comes with it or if it will cost you more. Checking, I'm on the website right now. Radio systems, six channel DX6i. Click on it. DX6i. Um, 
Well, it's $136.99. It's an additional $49.99, $50 for a BR600 bot receiver. So I didn't include that. That's an extra $50. So if I added that right now, my grand total would be $595.86. Okay? Now, th that's what it would cost. Simple as that. If you, now, these are expensive, but don't think of these as a one-time thing. If you keep this radio system, if you buy this radio system, you'll be able to use it for years to come. Okay? Years to come. You can, um, you'll have to buy different tra uh, receivers to plug into the different robot, but you can use the same um, transmitter if it's compatible with that receiver in the robot. So it's a great investment. That's why you buy a good system now, 6-channel best receiver, 7-channel best. We don't want to buy more than that. It's too complicated. You keep it for all the robots you need. You can even, if you want to build a heavyweight robot someday, you can use a 6-channel, 7-channel radio, 4-channel not so much, 6-channel, that's pretty good. Now we're going to move on. You're going to need four 100 to 1 gear motors. 52.99. You can get the four 50 to 1 gear motors. Those are better. 52.99 also. But I'm um, sticking with the 100 to 1. A Teflon coated heat proof wire set. You're going to need a lot of that. Red, black, and white colors. I would prefer. You get those straight off on Labs.com. A four zero point one. I don't know what the symbol is. I'll, sh I'll give you. I'll show you a picture and write it there. But ceramic disc capacitors to a pack. You're gonna need four packs because you need. You're gonna need two a motor. You're gonna need eight in total if you do the math. It's gonna cost you five dollars ninety six cents. Not per pack. That's gonna be all four of them you need. Um, per pack. Uh, per thing. No, per pack. I think it's a dollar forty nine or dollar ninety nine on Radio Shack. I have to check that. You're gonna need an eleven p uh, a soldering toolkit. Now, I got an 11 piece soldering tube set only for 20 bucks right off there. That's going to save me some money. The clear flux solder, solder, that's, some, um, that's really just solder wired, just solder of course. It's only going to cost you 4 bucks. You can get some that's 199 off Radio Shack. You're going to need a, f uh, a, I'm getting a computer tool set, 30 piece computer toolkit that I can use with my, um, the uh, Saber 2 Dual 5A motor driver for RC, the the speed controller. I can also use to do many other things with the wires and stuff. That'll cost me 40 bucks. You can get it cheaper, or low end off Radio Shack. A Rode Pro 12 volt cordless rechargeable 3 um, 3 8 drill driver. That's 55 bucks for me. For you, that can be as low as 9.99. And uh, a with that, I have a grand total of $595.86. Now, this is just my budget. The, this is just all the parts you're going to need. In the next video, I'm going to tell you what to do with these parts and how to start creating your Antweight robot. Thanks for watching, guys.